Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another segment of The Rant Band. Okay, so today we're talking about the Royal Oak Arts, Beats, and Eats Festival and how people are so upset about the rules, regulations, and fees that come along with just trying to find decent parking. So we decided to go out and see what are people really saying about this matter. Let's go find out. Parking in downtown Royal Oak for Arts, Beats, and Eats uh, it's not just a money-making thing, it's a necessity for those people who are actually working the festival to have convenient parking to load and unload. So when the Royal Oak police come by and they put the signs and the bags over the parking meters that says no parking, to me that says no parking. Uh, me and my family would love to go into Arts, Beats, and Eats uh, when it was up in Pontiac. But then when it moved to Royal Oak, we actually didn't know how good that would be. So when we had attended it for the first time, the first year they had in Royal Oak, the first thing we noticed is how crowded it was and finding a, hard, uh, finding a place to park. Once we did find places to park, it was extremely expensive. It was going to cost us $20 to park. Um, and then we were even more surprised we had to pay an exorbitant amount of money for our family to get into Arts, Beats, and Eats. That kind of turned us off, so we actually haven't been back since. I've been to Arts, Beats and Eats uh, several times since they opened in Royal Oak, and this year seemed to be the worst as far as parking goes. There is a lot of tickets being issued, and that's very unfair to the people because they're not supplying any other means of parking for them other than paying enormous fees in parking lots. If they're going to charge for parking lots out beyond the, the area, they should supply a shuttle service so that the people have another way to get into the city itself for the affairs. Not just a rant, but a solution.